Hey, this is Doug again, and thought I would tell some people what I think of autism, which is the condition that I have, you know. All my followers know that, you know, I have social problems, you know, and, you know, I, Asperger's is what I have exactly, and, you know, the world needs to know about it because there's some people, like people in Japan, who think that Asperger's, you know, is basically someone refusing to grow up rather than a condition, and that's what I have is Asperger's, and it causes me to misunderstand others and be socially inappropriate at times and to be hyper and to lack social skills, you know. It's, it's not a life-threatening condition by any means, but it is one that's going to be with me for the rest of my life, and, you know, my mom and dad and family had to make changes to their lifestyles in order to manage it. So that's what I've battled with. And I documented my uh, battle with Asperger's in my first book I published, which was in 2012 or 13, I believe. And it's pretty cool, you know. Sometimes what can help me feel better in times that I'm feeling low is music especially classic music like Mozart, like this song, for instance. Like this. Oh, it sounds like the music from the first Willy Wonka movie, and it looks like a variety of people are joining me today. Sorry if I blew your ears off, everyone. Ah, more people are joining. Pretty cool. Glad to hear that. This might be a more successful podcast today than the other days. Hope you're doing good, Jonathan, Ricky, Yesenia, and Lilla, and West Coast Racing Junkie, and Ebenike Thurman. Hope things are going well. Glad y'all could join me today. Yeah, he doesn't like Mozart every now and then, especially when you're feeling low. And yeah, Symphony Number no. Forty. I believe this is called "The Marriage of Figaro," and the opening is the music used in the first Willy Wonka movie in Willy Wonka's Key Lock. I believe. Listen to this closely. Oh, that was that didn't work out because the volume's down. I forgot I turned it down. Listen to this. It's the music from Willy Wonka. Yep. Just as I thought. Yep. Wonder if there's any other good music I like. Oh, I do like Bocelli, yeah. Especially Time to Say Goodbye. I don't know if anyone's heard that music. It's a very beautiful music by Bocelli, for sure. Time to say goodbye. Who doesn't like that song every now and then? Bocelli and Sarah Brightman themselves. It's, it's in a foreign language, but, you know, it's a very beautiful music. And I listen to it when I feel low. And Bocelli is blind, as everyone knows. He's the blind Italian opera singer. So, yeah. Looks like Gilbert Garza is our first like in this podcast. Cool. There it is, yep. Yeah. Was in '97, it looks like. And you can tell, yeah, but it's always by the way he looks. Love this song. 
and it looks like a band has joined. That's pretty cool. I love doing these live Facebook feeds. Gets my fan base growing. Justin's joined. Pretty cool. He likes it. That's cool. Beautiful. Oh, it looks like I've gotten some messages so far. Might as well check them. Beautiful music, don't y'all think? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I listen to when I feel low and hope things are going well for all the people that joined me today. And I'm still in Bakersfield, California, which is the home track of, or the hometown, I should say, of Kevin Harvick, Rick Mears, and Casey Mears, and some other people I'm yet to figure out about. And I'm enjoying every bit of it, and I always love hosting these live Facebook feeds, and hopefully you all understand that I'm still enjoying life, even with my Asperger's, and I feel great. Hope y'all have, have a good one.